Welcome to Pirate Studios. Glad you could be here. Today I'm going to do a review on my favorite amp sim, Bulldog by Audio Assault. I'm going to do other Audio Assault amp sims reviews in the future, so look for that. This is my favorite right out of the gate. It's just awesome. Now, I am using a different impulse response, but you can also get those from Audio Assault also. They're, uh, they got a deal going on right now that is, uh, and they have pure, they have deals throughout the whole year, but right now they've got like 10 IRs for $10, 10 IR packs for $10, and I, I believe I own them all. Um, but right now they've got all their amp sims starting from like $7 to $15. So they're pretty cheap. Um, join them, their group on Facebook and, uh, go join um i'll put the links for that in the description so you can join and that way you can get, you can get the the deals throughout the year join their mailing list and you can also get some cool deals um throughout the year that other people may not get um so today i'm going to show you this amp this is like i said this is my favorite amp let's go over here and we're going to load it up here got my audio assault folder I'm going to load up Bulldog. Cool. So this is default. Let me make sure this is... Yeah. Okay. So first, we've got a tuner. And I'm going to be honest. It's really not... It's really not the best. It's really close. But see, my tuner over here that I've got, I've got a Korg. And this is showing my C a little flat. Just a tad flat, and this one, see, it's showing it a little sharp. So I, I, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really trust it completely. But it's still better than no tuner. A lot of amp sims don't come with a tuner at all. So, first in line after that, you've got a noise gate. That's nice too. Some amp sims don't come with noise gates either, and you've got to get a separate one. Which I've got. There's, I've got some uh, good noise gates too, and uh, I'm going to do a review on those also not just noise gate but another amp sim company anyway this is their noise gate and it works great you hear it as if i turn it off so you can hear that noise it's not good turn that on let's shut that up and then you've got an eq boost pedal um, you can, I guess if you're turning stuff down, it's not really a boost. <laughs> and then you've got an overdrive pedal. A lot of, uh, amp sims don't come with this stuff either. So this is everything you need all in one package. And then you've got the amp. Every single one of these buttons move and are clickable. Boost. And you can make this bigger if you're kind of blind like me. There we go. That looks a lot better. You can see normal, high gain, edge button. Every every button works. You do shift. Um, you got an EQ here, it works. Even the power button works. <laughs> uh, the volume, that's default. Presence, there is more like a treble. This is more like treble and this is your low end, your depth. Um, resonance, it's called resonance on, other, on some amps. Um, so that's the head, and this head is based off of a Pitbull high gain amp, which I've heard is a sought after amp, really expensive. <laughs> and um, it's just one of the one of the high gain monsters that's out there that people love. And even though I don't know a whole lot about the Pitbull, I know that this amp sim is awesome. So let's go to the cab section. It just comes with the Bulldog 412 default. I've got some other. Um, C cabs. I've got some other um, impulse responses that I like to use personally, and I'll show you my default um, my default setting that I have my own preset. You can mix two different tones together right here. You can have, and, you know, and you don't don't really have two tones right now, you know, straight out the gate. So there's no reason to do that because it's the exact same speaker, the exact same capture on both sides. So you really only need one. That's why it comes with just not blended, just all on A. This will let you, you can go and add 
any impulse response that's out there, um, it will accept all those also. So we're at default, and so we don't need that anymore. And then after that, it's got this these after effects. You've got a graphic EQ. You can flip that on and adjust that however you want. You've got a chorus pedal. It always makes stuff sound out of tune. <laughs> this is one note. It sounds terrible when you turn it off. It's fine. And the delay, the delay is awesome. A reverb. Anyway, I like reverb better than delay personally. Delay and a little bit of delay with a solo maybe, but not really. I, I that's just personal preference. I, I really like um, I really like um, reverb better. So um, it also comes with presets already where they've someone they've done presets with the EQs already tweaked a certain way. So I'm gonna go through one of each. There's different genres here. I'm going to go through one or two of each. Here's black metal. And we don't want to use a single core for black metal. See how good that gate is? That's black metal and then black metal ambience. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> it's too much. Uh, we'll pick a uh, blues. Blues? Blues tells me single coil. Just a clean. This amp's not really, you could probably tweak it to get a clean tone, but it's not really my favorite. I, I lean towards other stuff for clean tones. This is, this is for high gain. This is, if you want a high gain amp, this is it. This is death metal three. Death Metal Solo 2. Kills my squeal. Yeah, you, and and just because it's uh, a preset, you can go and uh, tweak anything of each preset. So I could go in to the stomp here and, and turn the 
threshold of the gate down, but I'm I'm not gonna screw with that right now. Um, default clean. I need to turn my input. Turn the volume on my input up, but I'm I'm not going to. You know, let's let's try to make it clean. I've never done it, so let's do it. So uh, the cab is the same. Uh, I'm not gonna. Okay, there's a they got a booster on this default clean. So really, for me, um, I'm gonna turn the this up. Maybe they'll give me more volume here. Yeah, that's, that's better. Okay, that's pretty dead. Let's put some reverb on that. I mean, clean's not hard to clean's not hard to get. Clean's pretty easy. Uh, let's go back to the presets. Gent eight. There's like a one through ten. Okay, so this is like a clean uh, gent ambient. That's pretty. Heavy metal two. Let's play heavy metal on a single cool man. No. See, it's just not heavy enough for me. It's not. It's not fizzy enough for me. Heavy metal solo. It's just not fizzy enough. Jazz. And every time you click on a new preset, it kills your it kills your input that you had when you had it turned up. Ambience. Lo-fi, low gain. No gain. Trash, I skipped a few.
it's pretty good. It's more fizzy. Okay, so let's go to let's make a modern preset here. See if I can go. Let's let's. I'm gonna kill it and start over. That way it's default. And I'm going to. I've already get this. Will let you save your own presets, which I have one saved. But this is. I'm gonna start from default and show you what I do. So, stomp. I leave the gates already on. I take this EQ booster. Whoop, and I turn that on. I put that about right there. I turn this about right there. Drive right there. Level there. I tone knob right down the middle that overdrive pedal, then I go to the amp. And I pretty much copy my settings of my EVH pretty much for, I do that for pretty much every high gain amp. I'll take the gain and put it about two o'clock, 1.30, two o'clock, yeah. And I'll do that there. I'll flip this from normal to high gain. Ooh, see you can hear that noise already. You might wanna go and turn the threshold of the gate. Boop, and it's gone. Come almost completely gone, but anyway, in the EQ section, I don't know what this is doing. You don't really need the boost, but I'll do it anyway. So I'll take the volume there and I'll just pretty much do that with my middle and treble. It's pretty simple. And since this is an amp sim, you can't really know what the bass is really doing because it's not really a real speaker. So I just turn the bass up all the way. And I'll do the same thing on my AVH because the cab's off the floor and the floor is concrete here. Depth is your resonance, which is just the low end. So you could turn that up all the way, which I have that turned up all the way on my real amp. And then presence is kind of like a treble. I turn that there too. Now cab. Instead of using the Bulldog, I have bought a C cab, which is audio assaults, impulse responses is what they're called, is C cab. Uh, they've got a Mesa that I really like, Mesa Boogie, and it's a V30, Vintage 30. Yeah, it's the it's the sound, but that's what my ears like. And it was recorded with a 57, SM57, balanced. And you got chubby or thick. I highly recommend this, this impulse response. It's awesome. This will also let you use any impulse response. You don't have to just use one of theirs. And effects, I don't do anything. So let's hear what it sounds like. Cool. Now, one last thing, if you like that, keep an eye on the channel. <laughs> so one last thing, and I'm going to, let's see. I guess I'll, no, nah, I better not. Okay, this is gonna, oop, okay. See the gate, the gate pretty much kills that too. Let's hear how it sounds with, let's hear how it sounds with a seven string. I haven't adjusted anything, so. Let's see if it sounds money. This is an aftermarket picket. This is a Seymour Duncan JB, seven string. And I need to put new, string, new strings on here.
Cool. Check it out. Audio Assault. Bulldog. Till next time.